If you want to learn how to download and install OpenIV the easiest and fastest way possible in 2025, this is the video for you. I'm going to teach you how to install OpenIV and how to use it with some games like GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption, whatever game it is. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to get OpenIV installed in 2025 is to click that second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install OpenIV. Now, you don't have to read through this, but it is going to be there for those of you that like to look at the screenshots. If you get lost at any moment, this is a very in-depth guide to install OpenIV. But if you don't want to read through it, don't worry. Just follow along the video. Once you click on that second link, scroll down to the step one and then hit the download button in here, which is going to redirect you to the official OpenIV site. It's very important that you get to this page and not some other random page. That's why we always use our official guides to, you know, do everything the way it's supposed to be done. Now, once over here, you're going to hit download now and the file will begin downloading right away. Again, very important that you download the right file and not some other website so you don't get, you know, a malware on your computer. Once you download that file, let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop. As you can see, I already have OpenIV installed. I'm going to go ahead and delete that from there. Let's go ahead and drag and drop OpenIV into our desktop. This is the installer of OpenIV. I do recommend that you keep this site open because it might be helpful later on in this guide whenever you're trying to locate your installation folder for GTA 5. But once you got the OpenIV set up in your desktop, go ahead and close your game. And now let's go ahead and install OpenIV. Simply double click on it and then the installer file will open. It's going to have you select the language that you want to use. If you do get an administrator prompt asking you to allow this app to run, just go ahead and allow it and then hit OK. And then that'll bring you over here and now select the language. Click continue. That is going to put you over here. Just give it a second. That is going to put you over here in the user license agreement. Go ahead and click I accept. And if you don't know what you're accepting, by the way, you could read through it over here and then hit continue one more time. Now in here, you're going to select where you want to install OpenIV. This is only where you're installing OpenIV, not where your game is located. So you could just leave it by default or choose a custom folder if you want to install it in a custom folder. I'm going to leave it by default. Hit continue one more time and then just allow this, you know, the download size is only 20 megabytes that OpenIV has to download. I'm going to let it download and then just wait for OpenIV to install. However, it is important that you pay attention to the next part, because if we don't do the next part properly, we won't be able to use OpenIV at all. Now, once OpenIV has installed, you could go ahead and close it and you could even delete the installer of OpenIV in here because you don't need it anymore, right? We already installed it. We could see it over here. Now, let's go ahead and open OpenIV. Just double click on it. That is going to open this menu in here where you're going to select the game that you're going to be modding or the game that you want to link to OpenIV. In my case, it's going to be GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5. And specifically, we're going to do the Windows version. So you also have to select the platform that you're going to use for your game, right? In this case, I'm going to select Windows GTA 5. And then it's going to have you find the location folder for GTA 5. Now, I'm going to show you how to find the installation folder for Steam, Epic Games and Rockstar Launcher, which are the most common ones, right? But if you get lost at any moments, like I said, you could go back to our guide and head over to step number three, scroll down a little bit in here and you'll find the common install locations for Epic Games, Steam and Rockstar Launcher. But I'm going to show you how to find those manually anyways. But if you do get lost, you could come back here to our guide and just copy those in here in case you can't make it work the way I'm going to show you how to do it, right? Now, let's start with Epic Games. Let's say that you have your GTA 5 through Epic Games. What you're going to do is head over to the library, find your Grand Theft Auto game over here, and then once you have it, click on these three dots, click on Manage, and then click on this Open Install Location folder in here, and then you're going to copy the install location of GTA 5 by selecting this whole line over here and pressing Ctrl-C to copy that. What you're going to do with that text is go back to your OpenIV installer, hit Browse over here, and then paste it over here, right? You're going to paste it on the top and you're going to hit enter. That is going to open the folder where GTA 5 is installed and you're going to hit select folder. And then that is going to show you this successfully green message in here, right? That you can see if you have the game through Steam, it's kind of a similar process. You're going to right click on your game here on your library. You're going to click manage and then you're going to click browse local files. That is going to open the installed location of GTA 5 and you're going to select the string of text on the top. You select the whole thing in here and then press Ctrl C go back into the OpenIV installer, click browse, and then just paste it in here and then hit enter and then hit select folder one more time. And you're going to get the same message. If you have the game through the Rockstar Launcher, it is a similar way. I don't have the Rockstar Launcher, but you kind of right click on it and you'll find the install location as well. Or you could just copy the default install location for the Rockstar Launcher of GTA 5, right? So you just come to our website, second link in the description, and then just find the Rockstar Launcher and copy that to the clipboard and then follow the same process. Click browse, Paste it on the top in here, hit enter, select the folder, and that'll put you over here. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit continue. And now just wait for this to update. Well, actually, you have to click continue one more time and wait for this to update and pay attention to the next part because we're not done yet. And if you want to be able to modify your game files, you're going to have to select a couple options once the OpenIV opens. And with OpenIV, 
open we're gonna go ahead and select over here the asi manager it's going to be this option right here it has a little blue check mark go ahead and click on it and that is going to open this menu in here now yours is not going to be green yours is going to be blue i'm actually going to uninstall mine so you can see how yours is going to look right yours is going to look like this and now these first two options are required for you to be able to modify your game most of the time the last one is kind of optional but i still like to install it because why not right so what you're going to do is simply click install in here you're going to install the three options in here like i said these are kind of required if you want to be able to modify your games later on now when you're installing the openiv.asi i believe it's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to only be able to edit a modified folder called mods what that is pretty much doing is asking you if you want to only be able to edit a specific folder called mods that you could later on delete in case that anything goes wrong when you're modding your game now if you're not very knowledgeable about modding your game i do recommend that you enable that option i'm probably gonna have a screenshot right now of how it looks or maybe a video or something just enable that option if you don't know what you're doing if you do know what you're doing then you don't have to do it however i always do recommend that you make a backup folder or you make a copy of your original game in case anything goes wrong and you have to go back to your original install of the game right a clean install version of gta 5. now once you install everything here you could hit close and you also have to allow edit mode most of the time whenever you want to modify these files in here if you want to add anything in here take anything out edit any file in here you're gonna have to hit edit mode and then you're gonna have to hit yes once you do and then you'll be able to modify your games files that is pretty much, guys, how to download and install OpenIV in 2025. If you enjoyed this video, if it did help you, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye-bye.